I am joined here today with my buddy Bailey, who has decided to lay down. But today is exciting because it is Friday, and that means my Friday Reads video, so let us get started. Hi guys, it is Samantha. I hope you guys had a great week. Today is Friday, as I said in the intro, so that means we are here today to do my Friday Reads video. It's been a couple weeks since I have done one, so I am definitely reading some different books from last time, and I'm excited to tell you guys about those today. So I'm currently reading four books at the moment, which is a lot, but I'm actually enjoying them because they're all pretty different, so I have a vast variety to choose from. The first book that I'm reading this weekend and anticipate finishing either tonight or tomorrow night, and that is Dragon Haven by Robin Hobb, the second book in the Rain Wilds Chronicles. Really enjoying this this one so far. I'm enjoying it a lot more than the first one. Definitely a lot more has happened. I'm becoming a lot more invested in the characters. It's quite good, quite sad, and I'm just really enjoying it. So again, I'm hoping to finish this one either tonight or tomorrow. The next book I'm reading, and it's a reread, and that I am loving every moment of, is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. It has been years since I have reread The Hobbit. Far, far, far too long. I used to reread this in the trilogy every year since I was 11 when I first read them, but then ever since college when I ran out of time and I didn't read as much because, you know, homework. I haven't reread it since college, so I'm overdue. It's been about five or so years since I've reread this. And I'm only about 50 pages in. I read a little bit before bed each night, just kind of savoring every word, and it's just been great to be back in the world again. I'm on reading each of the trilogy books one a month, so next month I can read The Fellowship of the Ring, which is my favorite of the trilogy, and I cannot wait. The third book I am reading is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I've never read a Rowell book before, and so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. I can definitely relate to Kath. Uh, I was definitely Kath and college. I mean, I didn't live on campus because I kind of went to a commuter school, but the awkwardness and not knowing what to do and being socially awkward and not wanting to do it because you're feeling uncomfortable, I can totally relate to you. So Kath is a very relatable character and I'm just really enjoying it so far. It's a fun, cute book. And the last book I'm reading is also a buddy read and that is Changeless by Gail Carriger. I'm reading this with Beck from Beck's End Books. I'll link down below because she is fabulous. We are both reading this book right now. We're reading about a chapter a day and I am very excited to do it because I was soulless back in February so I have been long overdue to start and read Changeless. And so far I'm really enjoying it being back in this with Alexia Terabody. I just really appreciate her humor. I don't know. She's such a spitfire character and I absolutely love it and the humor in this book is spot on. So I'm really loving this book as much as Soul is so far and I cannot wait to read more this weekend. So those are all the books I'm planning on reading not only this weekend but into next week. I'm hoping to finish these four up in the month of September. I did start the Moonstone last week and got 50 pages in and then DNF'd it. I don't know if I'm just not feeling it right now or what but it was definitely starting out really slow and kind of the same like it was very uninteresting I guess whereas The Woman in White wasn't and I know it's a different book but I just was not feeling it so I DNF'd it for now I don't know when I'll pick it back up again we shall see when that will happen just not in the mood to read it at the moment I think so I find it best not to force myself to read something because then I will inevitably get into a reading slump and we don't want that. As for the rest of the weekend I just have a lot of errands to run I'm going to be doing some filming and I'm also hoping to start Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword again I never I got to the very end and never defeated the bad guy because I couldn't get past the guy before the main villain whose name I can't remember. Anyway, I can never get past him, so I'm actually thinking about restarting the game and replaying it since I'm doing a Link costume for Halloween, and my costume is primarily based upon this version of Link with some Ocarina of Time elements from that Link thrown in. Let's go with it. So I'm thinking about restarting that game since it's been far too long and I've just been kind of having a hankering to finish it. So that might happen this weekend as well, as well as some coloring. I've really been enjoying coloring the Secret Garden coloring book and I just completed this page, which the pictures are on my Instagram, if you guys missed it, which is linked down below. But I finished this page and I used a combination of color pencils and gel pens. I really liked how that turned out. So I think I might start another page. I don't know if it'll be in this one. It might be in the Enchanted Forest one. We shall see. And then of course from out Saturday, so that also means it's Doctor Who Day and last week left off in a cliffhanger so I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in Doctor Who and what happens to Clara and Missy and ah, I'm so enjoying it. It was such a good episode last week. It was probably one of the, my favorite episodes since season five. It was that good. I absolutely love last week's episode. And can I just say I love Missy. Missy as a master is absolutely hilarious. Her humor is spot on. Even though she's like evil, you still can't help but laugh and I just absolutely enjoy that about her character. So very much looking forward to watching Doctor Who tomorrow. So yeah, other than that, I don't have anything too exciting.
exciting planned, but I hope you guys will have a great weekend. Let me know down in the comments if you're reading anything exciting or if you watched Doctor Who, what you thought of last week's episode. I hope you guys have a great weekend and have a great week next week, and I'll see you in my next video. So until next time, happy reading. Bye. Bye.